The next part that we're gonna be working on is our cool down and stretching. So for this portion, you're gonna need a chair. Any chair will do, a chair around your home, you can use your couch, you can use your recliner, just as long as it's something that you're able to sit on and do these stretches. Another thing that you wanna focus on is you're gonna hold each one of these stretches for a nice, steady 30 count. I'm gonna give you about 30 seconds in each position so that your muscles have a, t or have a chance to relax and cool themselves down. So for our first stretch, we're gonna sit down. Make sure that you are sitting up nice and tall, your feet flat on the floor. And all you're gonna to do to stretch out your lower back and decompress your spine is just lean forward and touch your toes. Once again, we're holding this for a 30 count. and come up nice and slow. Our next stretch will be a 30 count either side. What you wanna do is take one of your legs, cross it over the next side. You're just gonna grab lightly with the opposite hand and twist, very gently twist. If you have issues with your hips or lower back, you may wanna avoid this or try to find another way to do it. Your leg down, switch to the other side. Good, put your leg down, relax. Now, go ahead and stand back up. What you want to do if you have a chair like this or a chair like you have in your kitchen, you're going to want to turn it so you can get to the back. Otherwise, if you're using a couch or a recliner or anything like that, just go ahead and grab the arm of the recliner. What you're going to do, take a few steps back, and you're just going to lean forward, putting your head in line with your shoulders. From here, you should feel a stretch in your upper back, in your armpits, and through your arms. Once again, holding for that 30 count. stretch we're going to want to do, hold on to the back of the arm of the chair, hand on your hip, and you're just taking your leg out and down. Here, we're only going to do 10 repetitions, not a 30 count. And then we're going to switch to the opposite side. What you're going to want to do is stand up nice and tall, holding on to the back of the arm of the chair. Now, if you do not have good flexibility in your quadricep, the muscles in the front of your leg, you're going to want to just lift your leg up and it relaxes that muscle. If you do have decent flexibility, go ahead and grab either the back of your pant leg, the back of your shoe, or the top of your foot. You want to stand up nice and tall, keep your legs in line with each other, and just lightly pull up on your foot, and you'll feel the stretch here in the muscle in the front of your leg. Once again, hold for a 30 count. Relax, and switch to the other side. toes. Go back down nice and slow. Still holding on to the back of the arm of the chair. Just loosening up the muscles in the front of your shins here. Allowing the muscles in the back of your legs, your calf muscles to flex and relax. These next stretches you can either do standing or sitting. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate them sitting. So from here, sitting down, 
If you have a lot of issues with your neck and your cervical spine, just tilt your head to one side. If you feel like you're not getting a good enough stretch and you do have or don't have any issues, place your fingertips lightly on the side of your head and just gently pull over. Relax and switch. Remember, you can gently pull if you have good flexibility and no issues with your neck. Relax. Our next stretch, interlace your fingers out in front of you. You want to do so with straight arms. All we're going to do is push them forward, rounding the shoulders, just in case you can't see me. Rounding your shoulders, lean your head down. Relax. Next, we're going to interlace our fingers behind us. Roll your shoulders back and just push down. Sitting that from the side. Our last stretch is a full body stretch. You're gonna interlace your fingers, bring them up above your head, push to the ceiling, lean back a little bit and just reach. Now, if you have bad shoulders, bad hips, bad back, anything like that, you can just put your hands on your hips, and just stand up as straight as you possibly can. Otherwise, we're stretching for that third count. And relax, take a deep breath in and blow out. 